Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I am going to give an analysis of the JE Main 2019 paper that was held on 10th of January. This is for shift 2, second shift, that is the afternoon shift. In this paper, there were 27 questions. From class 11, there were 13 questions. And class 12, there were 14 questions. Now from class 11, the topics were from error analysis, there was one question on the topic significant figures. Now from the chapter motion in one dimension, there was one question wherein you are asked to calculate the displacement from the area of VT graph. In the chapter motion in two dimensions, there were two questions from the topic vectors. One question involving resultant of vectors, the other one based on angle between the vectors in relation to dot product and cross product. Okay. Now from the chapter work energy power, there was one question based on work energy theorem. Now from rotational motion, there were two questions, one question involving calculation of moment of inertia and one question involving calculation of angular acceleration of rod. Now from gravitation, there was one question involving the topic escape velocity. From heat and thermodynamics, there were two questions, one question from the topic kinetic theory of gases involving the calculation of internal energy from the relation, this is internal energy is equal to F by 2 nRT. One question from the topic calorimetry. Okay. Now from the topic oscillation, there were two questions. One question involving the relation between velocity and time period and the other question involving the oscillation of cylinder in a liquid as given in NCRT. This is an additional exercise question in NCRT. Now again, there was a question from wave motion based on the topic of closed organ pipe. Now, from these topics, no questions were taken, laws of motion, thermodynamics and heat transfer. Now coming to class 12 topics, there were 14 questions out of the 27 questions. From electrostatics, there were 3 questions. One question from capacitor, insertion of dielectric, then force on a dipole, then work done is equal to negative of potential energy, that is potential energy calculation to assemble charges. Then there were two questions from the topic, there were two questions from the topic electricity, current electricity, one question based on the topic of potential divider, one question based on color code of register. Now this similar question on color coding of register was asked in shift 1 in 9 January. Now in the topic magnetism, there were two questions, one question from force on dipole, one question on oscillation of uh, dipole in magnetic field. Then there was a question on electromagnetic induction from this relation E is equal to L di by dt. From ray optics, there was again only one question involving this relation. One question from wave optics from the topic Young's double slit experiment. One question from electromagnetic wave, uh, this relation based on V equal to E by B. Again, one question was also asked on 9 January morning shift based on the same, same concept. Dual nature of radiation and matter. A uh, question was asked, one question from the topic, uh, this Einstein's photoelectric relation and in 9 January morning shift, again one question was asked on the same concept. In From the topic nuclei, one question was asked uh, for calculation of binding energy. From semiconductor devices, one question was asked uh, based on calculation of current through a Zener diode. Now, as you can see in class 12, no questions were asked from these topics, alternating current, atoms and communication systems. Okay. Now, this paper was bit difficult as compared to the morning shift paper of 9 January. But overall, uh, if you see, if you have concentrated from NCRT, you should be able to solve at least uh, 12 to uh, 13 questions from out of these 27 questions. So this was the analysis based on my experience and best of luck for the students who are going to write the JMIN papers in the next few days.